everybody. This is Chris of Right Time Capital Group and Global FX Club. Today is January 24th, 2013, and you are listening to the Ichimoku Daily Video. Please take a moment to pause your screen and read over the disclaimer. All right, and jumping right into the markets. Right now, um, I'm going to go over some of your requests. First request I want to go over was the Euro Aussie. I'm not sure if you're looking to short Aussie or um, short the Euro Aussie, but let's take a look at the right screen. As you see, we have um, some resistance that's capping the pair around 1.28. So that seems to be a triple top. So if you are looking to short this pair, although I don't usually call top and bottoms because I'm more of a trend trader, which you guys already know, but um, if you are looking to short Euro Aussie, then obviously I feel like the um, it will be a good risk to reward ratio if you do indeed short around 1.28 and obviously if the price breaks above the resistance it would now be support and you might want to look for longs so if you are looking to short your Aussie look for 1.28 um, if you're looking for your strength against the Aussie look for a four hour close above 1.28 to long it on a one hour chart um, we have price right now respecting the 20 EMA really just trending to the upside it made a high on a one hour now we have some sideways movement um, so let's see if we're gonna have a continuation of the of the bullish momentum or if we're gonna have a pullback let's take a look at Aussie dollar now so Aussie dollar is climbing to the downside let me just delete this with Aussie dollar I really don't see anything um, a place that I would get shortened is around the Keijin and the 20 EMA, I guess around the 105 um, 10 area. So if you are looking to short Aussie dollar, then look for a pullback, all right, towards the Keijin on the four hour chart. If you're looking to short it um, and really get a good entry, but it's more riskier because we're looking at a smaller time frame, then we can look at the one hour um, chart with the 20 EMA. And the 20 EMA stands around 1.0465. And as you can tell, ever since we've been on downtrend on the one hour chart, um, price came back only once to test the 20 EMA for some resistance on the hourly chart. But um, the slope of the 20 EMA is angling to the downside, indicating that right now the trend is bearish. All right. And obviously, on the daily chart, where right now we're trading within the cloud. So, as you know, if you're an Ichimoku trader or if you follow up with Ichimoku or even if you listen to some, to some of my videos, then you know that if price is within the cloud, then it could break out on either side. So, we might get a breakout back above the cloud for a continuation of um, the bullish mo momentum, or we could see price fall and break below the cloud for more bearish sentiment. All right, let's take a look at Euro. Euro dollar. I'm waiting for price to come and hit this um, descending trend line. I think this is a period I might short. I'm really watching it closely. If it gets anywhere close to 103 at to 1.3390, then I may be looking to short it, depending on what kind of candle we have. If we have a very strong bullish candle, um, and it's an impulsive candle breaking above the resistance then it could mean that we're going to see a shift in sentiment and I might be looking to long if we do close above so I'm looking to play both angles so I'll be looking very closely at small time frames to see if indeed the market respects this resisting trend line alright on a one hour chart um, it's very choppy so there's nothing really that we should talk about on a one hour chart because price has been ranging with the euro dollar going in and out of the 20 EMA and on a daily time frame price is right now above the daily Tinkin trading above the Keijin above the 4-hour cloud so initially we should be looking to get into long positions on the euro dollar um, but however like I said price has been capped around the 1.34 area so unless we get that break above I would just um, play that range so if you're looking to short euro against the dollar um, and you're looking to short it at the trend line, then I wouldn't be looking for a 200, 300 pip move. Why? Because price hasn't really fell below 1.3260. So 
what you want to do is play it safe and exit that short around where we've seen most of the consolidation if indeed you take that short and it, it is in your favor let's take a look at pound dollar pound dollar right now um been watching this pair and honestly i missed the entry on pound dollar short quite a few times let me just blow this chart <clears throat> I missed it quite, quite a few times. As you see, we have a descending channel. Um, price just kept on making lower highs, and it respected it quite nicely. I really wanted to get in right here at this four-hour candle at 9 o'clock in the morning um, yesterday, but I guess I missed it. I've tried to put my alert on. However, if price do come back and retest it, then obviously you want to take that or really consider taking that trade. Why? Because the probability of the price of the pair falling, all right, is is within your favor. All right, it's been respecting this channel, so we could look forward to keep on falling to the downside, which actually kind of gives me um, something to think about because euro and pound are supposed to be um, pairs that correlate and match. So because we have this um, inverted correlation with pound and euro dollar. You know, it, it it just seems like it's confusing, and this is where I will just want to play just our technical setups. So if you see euro coming near support or resistance, then play that pound. Same thing. If you see it coming near a support or a resistance, just play it. And for right now, don't worry about why is the pairs not correlating. On the daily chart, um, pound is below the cloud. So overall, we are looking for bearish setups, which just shows me that this descending channel on a four hour chart um just add further um confirmation that the pair should c continue dropping to the downside um kiwi dollar kiwi dollar is coming against some support all right right now actually so if you're looking to play kiwi dollar um, either long or short, look for this pair to uh, be supported around current levels. If you're looking to short Kiwi dollar, then look for the pair to break below this support um, and retest it. All right, because you almost because you always want want to see a retest before you take a short, and um, look for the pair to drop if that's what you're, you're looking for. Me on Kiwi dollar, I'm looking for the pair to bounce over here, break back above the cloud, and head towards some resistance near anywhere near the 0 0.8044 zone but I could be wrong and if I am then the price close below this ascending trend line look for price to head towards 0 0.8275 all right let's take a look at some yen pairs Pound yen. I know there's a nice setup on pound yen. Pound yen has this descending trend line as well on a four hour chart. So just watching this, and it's also been um, failing to close above the four hour cloud, indicating that um, the market is not ready to just let it go to a bullish run. But if it, if indeed we start getting um some green candles heading towards the this um descending trend line just watch the 143.50 to 143.30 area for some resistance okay and on a 20 ema on the one hour chart if you are looking to long pound yen i would i would not long it until we pass the resistance but if indeed you're looking to maybe get 15 to, to 20 pips because pound yen is very volatile then you might want to look towards support at the 20 EMA because looking here, it has been respecting it as it's been trending. We had some consolidation over here, but then we had, but then we had an uptrend and really price has been bouncing um, near the, the 20 EMA. The 20 EMA is sloping to the upside, indicating that we are currently in a trend, in a bull trend. All right. You see, I think Urian also has similar setup so let's go for yuri yen yuri yen does have a setup quite similar um we have some some resistance at the high at the four hour high at one 
All right, so if we get near there, let's see if we get a bullish break to the upside, or let's see if we gonna get a pullback. And if indeed we start getting get, getting a pullback, look towards 119.15 um, for euro again on a four-hour chart. Um, if you're looking to play it on the hourly setup, then obviously the 20 EMA is sloping to the upside, and look for support around 1.20 at 120.35 to 120.40. Alright everybody, um, this is Ichimoku video, thank you for watching, and until my next one, good luck trading.